I want this flavor made into a candle, chewing gum, perfume, aftershave for the men in my life. <laughs> Good afternoon, my loves. Welcome to Maverick Baking and welcome to another chocolate review. If you're new to the channel, it's a pleasure to have you here. My name is Kelly and here we conduct chocolate reviews, foodie challenges, foodie vlogs, and I'm sharing easy and delicious recipes with you guys all the time. So if that sounds like your kind of thing too, feel free to stick around. Today, my loves, we are talking about chocolate. I know huge shocker, but it's an Italian brand I have yet to taste before and one that I am very excited to share with you guys. Now, something that's been requested a few times in the comments of my most recent kind of British or, you know, other European chocolate reviews is to focus more on the kind of high quality or ethical stuff as well as the mass market stuff. Bringing you guys too much of one or the other, I can understand might be a little bit limiting or a little bit boring or too out of budget on one end and too grim on the other sometimes. <laughs> so today we're creating some balance. Let's talk about a brand here in Italy called Amadei. Now this is a brand from Tuscany, probably three or four hours away from where we are in Italy at the moment. And this is a brand that has been catching my eye consistently since moving here. Now Amadei's website, I will link in the description box below, is absolutely full of incredibly delicious things, which made it incredibly difficult to choose which one I wanted to order. So they have lots of kind of bean to bar chocolates, whether that's straight up dark chocolate from South America, from Africa. Equally, they have lots of delicious and very kind of Italian, Southern European inspired flavors, which is something I really, really like. In this very exciting box that you have before you, I have four different flavors of their chocolate. We have some white chocolate, some dark chocolate, and some milk chocolate with orange, with pistachio, with almond, and with coffee. And I am incredibly excited to get this open for you guys today. So I ordered this box simply because it offered everything I wanted. I wanted to taste a little bit of everything. And the fact that the brand allows for things like that, as many kind of bean to bar and craft chocolate companies do, is fantastic. Let me just show you what's inside. This has already been opened up, mostly because I was too nosy and impatient, but also because Francesco wanted some chocolate. <laughs> so this is what we can expect inside. We have this gorgeous kind of almost display case that these come in, which again, just mwah, the attention to detail, which even includes this little kind of backboard thing, almost as if I was about to set up my own little shop in my own kitchen of these little chocolate bars. I love it. So as I said, we have two of these bars in dark chocolate. We have one in white and we have one in milk. I think I'm going to go from kind of dark to light. It just makes the most sense for the palette. And I will always, as always, have timestamps along the bottom of the video if you're particularly interested in one or two of these bars over the others. I would like to get my teeth stuck into this almond bar first. Let's see if it's worth your money. Opening this up, we have a beautiful kind of bar of chocolate here, which is nice and dense looking. Now I should mention that these are filled. They're not just kind of flavored and still have a beautiful snap to them. You can see maybe, I don't think I'll be able to get great kind of lighting for a zoom in for you guys there for a close up because I have picked the worst time of day to film in. <laughs> but let's get our teeth stuck into this dark chocolate almond bar and let you guys know how it tastes. The chocolate itself, thankfully, is still a big, chunky portion of this bar, despite having lots of that filling in there too. The chocolate has been wonderfully tempered, so it still has that nice kind of snap and crack to it before melting into this gorgeous, smooth dark chocolate. On the surface, it's a really nice quality dark chocolate. When you eat dark chocolate, especially if it's something you're not particularly used to eating, it can often taste burnt, especially if you buy from kind of mass market brands. It can taste burnt, it can taste bitter, it can taste like a health food rather than, you know, the luxurious, beautiful treat that it is. But this, there's nuttiness to it, there's like coffee notes to it, it's smooth the whole way through and you get this wonderfully sweet and a little bit savory kind of almond flavor in there that's a gorgeous natural almond taste. It tastes like the actual nuts rather than say the artificial marzipan type flavoring that you can often get in almond flavored products, you know. It's bold and punchy while still being smooth and creamy. 
there's this like nice vanilla note in the background. The almond flavor isn't too overwhelming. It's just a nice kind of nuttiness. And it's one that I could keep eating and eating and eating and eating. <laughs> so I'm very glad there's more than one of these bars in this package. Beautifully balanced celebrates a classic kind of Italian flavor and combined with a good quality chocolate, that's a solid four out of five for me. Shall we move on to the other dark chocolate bar in this box being the Toscano Orange. So this again is dark chocolate, 66% cocoa solids, just like the last one, which is quite low in terms of dark chocolate, but in terms of, you know, mass market chocolate bars in general is pretty high, enough that you can get a fantastic taste of that chocolate without it tasting too much like something super bitter and medicinal as some cheaper dark chocolates can. So again, there are some nuts in the filling of this bar, but we're expecting more of a kind of orange flavoring from it. An immediate but gentle kind of orange smell coming from there. And you can see again that filling just kind of peeking through. Let's see how it is. Stunning, 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 stunning orange flavor, my God. If you have ever baked or cooked using the zest of the actual orange being grated in and you get that lovely smell of all of the oils being kind of sprayed into the air from the grater that comes from that orange skin, that is what they've managed to capture in the flavor of this bar. And it is beautiful. My mouth is literally still watering. <laughs> you have that beautiful, slightly nutty, slightly coffee flavored, smooth dark chocolate that is strong in flavor, but just strong enough to perfectly match that orange. That kind of soft nutty filling in there too just works so well. Not too strong, beautifully balanced. And I would happily give the Toscano orange bar a five out of five with no, no room for questions. Good night. <laughs> Shall we move on to some milk chocolate though? In here, we have the Toscano coffee bar. Now this is one of Amade's milk chocolates with a coffee flavored filling instead. Now we're going to expect this to be quite milky and quite kind of sweet because the main ingredients alongside the lovely cocoa butter and cocoa paste, as it's known in, in Italian, we have powdered milk and sugar. So this is something that's definitely going to be more of a dessert-like treat than it is straight up, you know, kind of bold bean to bar chocolate style. So we open this up to see a much more milk chocolate appearance to this milk chocolate, but still with a nice little snap to it. Now this has an immediate kind of coffee flavor. Italians love their coffee, so I'm hoping that these guys will have translated that into this lovely milk chocolate bar. So the filling, which is made out of a similar kind of sweetened nut paste as the others, contains 15% coffee beans. And there is no mistaking that flavor. It's that same smell you get when you walk into a coffee shop. Had this been with dark chocolate, Neither of the two would have played particularly well together. The dark chocolate and the coffee are both very strong, but I don't think they would balance each other nicely. Whereas having this with a chocolate that contains that milkiness and that sweetness in the same way that a double espresso is nowhere near as kind of palatable as a cappuccino, even with the best quality coffee, you know? There's just something that little taste buds on your tongue love about the kind of creaminess and fullness of that milk powder blended in with something as rich as the coffee. If I was to make any kind of criticism, the only thing I might say that could be done to make that a bit more balanced is to use a kind of pooled espresso rather than the actual coffee beans. Now, they have done a fantastic job in incorporating those powdered coffee beans into a, a product that's smooth because the chocolate is smooth and the filling is smooth and it works really, really well. But there's something about the coffee flavor despite its boldness and its real freshness that you get when using the actual coffee beans. There's something about the kind of pooled espresso as in the actual liquid that just has a slightly more rounded flavor. If I, that would be me being incredibly picky. <laughs> and I know that it also could be something that would cause some issues in terms of texture or, you know, make the manufacturer's life a bit more difficult. However, that would be my only tiny, tiny criticism. Otherwise, if you love chocolate, if you love coffee, this is an absolute knockout and it's a solid five out of five for me. 
Moving on to what I believe may be the best for last personally, mostly just because I am a slut for all things pistachio. <laughs> this is Amade's white chocolate with a little pinch of salt and Bronte pistachios. I am inexplicably excited for this. Pistachio is such an underused flavor outside of the Mediterranean, it's insane. So opening this up, you can see we have a lovely looking white chocolate immediately, immediately giving off a beautiful kind of vanilla and pistachio flavor in there. And you can see, hopefully in this dreadful lighting I'm subjecting you all today, <laughs> that that filling is brown. Because while pistachios do have notes of green and purple, for the most part, especially when they're roasted, they're brown, just like every other nut really. So it's nice to see that this hasn't been laden with kind of artificial coloring to make it look more pistachio, you know? and it's got an immediate pistachio smell, that kind of unmistakable, almost, don't get me wrong with this, this almost kind of meaty, savoury smell that they have. Let's see how it is in this bar. I want this flavour made into a candle, chewing gum, perfume, aftershave, for the men in my life. <laughs> I want this smell, this flavor everywhere, everywhere. It's so nutty. Pistachio is such a ballsy flavor that when it's paired with that beautiful, buttery, sweet, vanilla spiked white chocolate is just ethereal, stunning, and an absolutely no doubt about it, five out of five. What a bloody delightful afternoon this has been. <laughs> I really hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Obviously, Amade is a slightly more upmarket brand, which I don't always share on the channel, but for those who really love to save their pennies to spend on nice chocolate, as I do, <laughs> I place it above any other luxuries in life, personally, this is definitely one I would recommend you try checking out. If you guys have tried Amade chocolate before when you've been in Italy or if you're elsewhere in Europe, let me know in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts, but otherwise, just tell me which of these four you would choose first. But I'm afraid that is all I have time for today, guys. I'm going to hide the remainder of these from my chocolate-loving husband because I'm just kidding. I will share anything but the pistachio, probably. <laughs> but that is all I have time for. Thank you so, so much for watching as always, and I will see you for the next one.